there's this casual intimacy where each reading, each time you pick up Thomas Ruff's Zeitung's photos, it's as if for the first time. You can let the pages fall randomly or leaf through consecutively all of the 400 newspaper photographs within a context that becomes one's own imaginings. The simplicity and exacting discipline carries a viewer on their own reimagined wandering. It's as if turning a street corner in a city you've never visited, where you are alive to all the changes, the cross-currents of people, and the revelations of an existing culture rubbing alongside an historical past. Zeitung's photos tells us everything about nothing and gives the photograph one of its most powerful temperaments, its absence. Matthew Volgraf in The Archive and the Labyrinth on the Contemporary Builder Atlas writes that the photographic image presents us with the punctual index of a given scene at a specific moment. That scene is situated in an irretrievable past, its reference irrevocably displaced in time and space. Indeed, the indexical image points ineluctably to something no longer extant. Photographs are thus the unlikely indices of absence more than a presence. This phantom indexicality only becomes truly apparent when images are placed side by side in an archive. The only information given in the book, Zeitung's photos, comes at the end, where we are told that between 1981 and 1991, Thomas Ruff collected photographs from German newspapers and weeklies, amassing an archive of more than 2,500 images. In 1990 and 91, he selected 400 images according to entirely subjective criteria. It's an intriguing book, an intriguing archive that fits with the idea of Nemesine, the Greek goddess of memory, and the work of other artists who have created in a similar vein. Abby Warburg's Builder Atlas Nemesine, Hans Peter Feldman's Voyeur, Klaus Stack's Pornographie, Batia Suter's Parallel Encyclopedia, and Gerhard Richter's Atlas. But to me, good as they are, they appear cluttered when alongside Thomas Ruff's presentation of one photograph opposite a caption that acts solely as a numerical inventory. In the end, what I like most is Ruff leaves you entirely to make your own judgment on interpreting each image.